Hey there, Libra. Welcome to your reading for the first half of November. This is your financial reading for the first half of November. Uh, this month, also, if you want to catch me live, I go live every single day at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Just make sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and you can catch me live. But let's see what we have going on for you at this time here. And uh, yeah, all right. So, you start off with the Two of Clubs and uh, the King of Diamonds. So, uh, this is you uh, just fig looking at your finances. A lot of you right now, in your current moment, could be kind of studying your finances, looking at your finances, looking for a job, getting a job with this King of Diamonds, which is nice. Or um, you could even need to talk to your boss. I would say, actually, you have this card. You also have the Jack of Clubs and the Jack of Spades. Uh, these cards are cards of needing to put the work in to get like a raise or a promotion. So if you're hoping for that, uh, I would say communication would be key here. You know, your boss isn't just going to magically give you a raise. Um, I would say you would need to go to them and like prove it. Uh, that's the energy right now anyway for most people. Uh, Saturn and Capricorn, again, we don't just get things with Saturn and Capricorn. We usually have to do something. And uh, yeah, our boss might say no. So this can represent yes and no, this card. But what, you know, the benefit again of Saturn and Capricorn is they might say no, but they might also to say, well, no, but if you take on, if you do this extra stuff, then I will give you a raise. So, you know, you always like get an answer as to how to improve your situation. A uh, really good combination for business. This can represent new contracts, new clients, and this is you just, you know, making more money if you have a business. Next, you have the uh, Jack of Clubs and the uh, Six of Spades. So yeah, a lot of you could be focusing on uh, like some sort of loss or a financial loss, or you could be focusing on a legal matter as well uh, that involves like a settlement. And um, this is fine right here for, um, you know, paying attention to details in a legal matter. So that's okay. Um, but in focusing on losses, uh, this is a card that says you need to change your focus to the future. So again, in legal matters, it's fine. Uh, but again, if you're focusing too much on the past, this card here says, you know, focus more on the future. And it also says don't focus too much on uh, like guilt, you know, guilty things or guilty feelings about money. It says try to remove those feelings. This is a good card though. It can represent incremental improvements. So I don't feel like, again, kind of like Virgo. I just did Virgo's reading and I don't feel like there's going to be like huge amounts of money necessarily coming in for you, but I do feel like improvements at the very least. So I do like to see that. Uh, next you have the Jack of Spades here with the Ten of Hearts. So I do feel like there could be a lot of new opportunities. I kind of feel like this guy is like looking at all these hearts here and he's like, oh, these are all potential jobs I could have. So again, I feel like there could be new jobs coming in for you. Even if you have a career or a job, I do feel like some of you could be um, still looking outside, looking externally at something new. And I do feel like, it, you know, if you got something new, it probably would improve your situation if you're looking to do that. Um, again, what I would say is that I feel like for you, just looking at the chart here, it's like if your situation isn't improving at work and you've already communicated to your boss that you need improvements or more money and it's not happening, then I'd say there's something better. You need to go to this right here. You need to go to kind of something that could actually support you. This is card of supporting the family. So a lot of you could literally be supporting your family at this time. Uh, but it is a card of fortune after difficulty. It is kind of a card that says the grass is actually greener on the other side. So again, if things are not improving, I would go get something else. For those of you looking for a job that don't have a job, again, really good card because it says you could be getting something uh, that will support a family or will be able to support you at this time. Next, you have the Three of Hearts here and the uh, Seven of Clubs as well. I feel like some of you, again, are trying to remove limiting financial situations from your life. You're trying to move past these, you know, challenges and difficulties with this card. Uh, this card is an indicator card. To me, it indicates you moving in the right direction. So I do feel like a lot of you are putting in the work to kind of get rid of this right here, which is like feeling like you're trapped in prison, feeling like maybe, you know, maybe a lot of you with this card, this is kind of like one of those tricky cards. It can say like you have enough money to live, but there's nothing extra. You know, you basically could be in one of those situations where there's like never extra um, money coming in for you. And this card says you are working on making a change. You are finding ways to change that. Let's clarify that. Yep, look at Ace of Diamonds. I mean, there you go. Starting something new will lead to more money for you. So again, if you're in business, if you're in, um, <coughs> you know, if you have a business, this card says try something new. If you have a job, this card could say get a new job if the, your, the current job's not working out. Or again, like I said at the beginning, talk to your boss, get that raise or a promotion or whatever. And also, this card says any of you that have like inventive, uh, innovative ideas, this is a great card for that. What I would say is that, um, you know, again, if you're looking for what to do, if you're looking for a field to work in or something like that, uh, Uranus moving into Taurus in March is great for anything new, any new types of technology, any new types of, um, you know, uh, health, health 
health related things even as well uh, could be very good um, real estate can be really good real estate's a tricky one i feel like the market is going to go down um you know it's, Pretty much once um, Uranus moves into Taurus officially in March, I feel like we'll start to see maybe the market drop off. And it probably won't be a huge crash right away, but, you know, again, it's definitely going to be going down. Uh, the interesting thing is, is that... Um, uh, that people will still need places to live, but, uh, you know, I feel like living situations will be different. So again, if you're looking at real estate, I would be looking at like working for as an apartment manager or something like that, something different. Uh, but again, this is good for anything different. It's even good for starting your own business as well. And finally, you have the five of hearts with the uh, wish card, make a wish. I always, I leave this blank card in here because people always say, just leave the blank card in there so we can have a wish card. So there you go. Uh, you show up at the end, queen of spades, you and five of hearts. Um, so this is your outcome, right? Right here showing up in a very strong independent position and looking at kind of starting new things so i feel like your focus is very new um again everybody else's focus this month so far has been a lot about passions you, you you have a little bit of that here in your reading so definitely focusing on passion projects or making money off of something you're passionate about but i would just say there's just a general focus on new things like needing to work in new industries or at new companies again i mean i think you have to think about the word new again people always think you know, they come back to me and they're like, well, I started a new job, um, but, you know, it's at a company that's been around for 200 years. I'm like, well, that's not new. You have to start like something completely new. And that's kind of, the, that's a weird message, but this message I'm getting for you, like I said, I'm really stuck on this card here, really good card for more, more money, but I feel like it's talking about innovation and uh, something very new. Again, I would say for any of you, like if you work in an old restaurant that says, go get a job at a new exciting restaurant, something that's much better, um, or, you know, whatever, whatever your situation is. Uh, but I think it looks really good. So thank you for watching and enjoy your month.